Hey, this is Ivan from Build Electronic Circuits, and in this video, I will show you how to use KiCad. Open up KiCad, and you'll see this window. So the first thing you have to do is to create a new project. Click on File, New Project, and then click on New Project. Choose where you want to save your project and select the name for your project. The first thing you need to do is to create schematics for your project. So you can either click on the schematics file on the left or you can click the EE schema button on the toolbar. In the schematics view, you can zoom in and out by using your mouse wheel or F1 and F2 on your keyboard. To place a component, click on the place component icon on the toolbar on the right. Then click anywhere in your schematics. This brings up the component chooser. Type in what you're looking for. In this example, I want to add a resistor. Click where you want to place your component. To move the component, move your mouse over it and press M. To rotate the component, press R. To change the value of the component, press V. Now let's add an LED. Click on the place component icon, then search for LED. Click anywhere to place the component. To finish the circuit, let's add a battery. Then add wires between the components by using the wire tool in the toolbar or pressing W on your keyboard. The battery should have a value, so let's set it to 9 volts. The next step is to annotate, which means to give the components a number. So just click on tools and then annotate schematics. Just click on annotate and click yes on the warning that pops up. And then you can see each of the components gets a number, BT1, R1 and D1. The schematics is now finished and you need to prepare it for designing the layout of the board. So go to tools and click on assign component footprints. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to load all the libraries, so be patient. Here you need to define the footprint that you want for each component. Choose filter by pin count and filter by library. This means you will only see component footprints that has this correct amount of pins that are in the selected library on the left. To see the choices you have on the right. To see what the footprint looks like, click on view selected footprint in the toolbar. For the battery connection, I prefer to just use a simple pin header. So go down to the pin header library and choose it. Then choose the footprint. I'm going to choose the one with 2.54 millimeter pitch. Double click the footprint to choose it. Next up is the LED, so choose the LED library. Then find the suitable footprint. I'm going to choose the 5mm true hole footprint. The last component is the resistor, so choose the resistor library. I'm going to choose the resistor THT, which is true hole technology. There are lots of options to choose from. Have a look at a few of them. Most of these will work, so it doesn't matter too much which one you choose. Let's choose this one. Okay, that's it for the footprints, so go ahead and save this, then close the window. To make sure you haven't done any errors like forgetting to connect the component, click on the Perform Electrical Rules check. Then click on Run and make sure there are no error messages. The last step before creating your board is to generate a netlist. Click Generate Netlist on the toolbar. Then click on the Generate button and save the file. You're now ready to draw the board, so click on Tools, Layout, Printed Circuit Board. The first thing you'll see is just an empty area. To get started, you need to read your netlist. So click on the Read Netlist button. Then click Read Current Netlist. All done, click Close. You should now see your footprints. To move a component, hold your mouse over it and press M on the keyboard. Sometimes you have to specify what you want to move. The white lines between the pads of the components means that those pads should be connected. So place your components onto the board in a way that it should be easy to connect the white lines later on. When you're happy with the placement, the next step is to draw the wires between the components. Click on Add Tracks and Vias from the toolbar on the right or press X on your keyboard. Then click to add the wires. In the layer selection on the right, you can choose if you want to draw on the front or on the back of the board. FCU is the front, BCU is the back. To draw the outline of your board, you need to draw lines in the edge cuts layer. 
select the edge cuts layer, then click on add graphic line or polygon in the toolbar. Now you can draw the board outline that you want. Double click to finish. Then zoom in to make sure that it starts and stops at the same place. Want to see what it looks like? Go to view and click on the 3D viewer. Now you can send your design to a board manufacturer and get your board made. But that's for another video.